Hi, this is James Kendrick with JKOnTheRun.com, a GigaOM site. And I want to give you a quick, very brief look at the multi-touch capabilities from the new MacBook and MacBook Pro uh, by Apple. Um, I'm finding that the multi-finger gesture capability is really revolutionizing the way that I work with the MacBook and I want every time I try to explain it to somebody they just get this very blank look on their face they're like I have to show them so I want to try to demonstrate on the video here for just a couple minutes how I use the multi-touch gestures with the new trackpad in my just everyday work and give you a chance to to see how that works so we start off, and this is going to be hard to do because I, 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 no matter how I do my hand on the trackpad, it covers the trackpad, so you can't really see it. So I'm going to try to, to do this so that you can see it and still see the screen. Right now, I've got a bunch of windows open, typical stuff that I usually have open. Like in front, you see Firefox, my web browser. I do a lot of work on the web. And I use the, uh, the trackpad with my two fingers scrolling as you can see I'm finding the trackpad is very light touch very reminiscent of the iPhone uh, far more sensitive to me than uh, any other trackpad that I've used so anyway I just scroll around I'm using the thing now remember this is a one button click so I actually click on the trackpad I don't know if you can see that when I want to change, click on something on the screen, I just click on the thing. Now I'll see here in Firefox, I've got Google Reader, so I'll go check my feeds. And usually I'll do the same thing. I'll just kind of double finger scroll down and look at it as we go. Stop and see if anything is of interest to me. But like any other work session. I mean, it's we're we're multitasking people. Things happen. I noticed down in the uh, down in the dock that I had a couple of email messages come in. So this is where the four finger gesture for expose comes into play. That quick, you see how many windows I have open, which is probably ten or eleven, and I can instantly get over to my email where it says I have two unread email messages so right now I'm in Apple Mail if I want to go somewhere else I can easily do that and the beauty of this system is that I can use whatever method is easiest and because of the multi-touch gestures I don't have to remove my hand off of the computer very often I mean I can either if I see a window I want like this finder window I can just click on it like any other Thing, but if I'm looking for a window I can't see, I just go into Expose and go down and click on it, and now it's it's up here in the forefront, and it's the active window. And this Expose, let me tell you, is working really well. It's uh, making a huge difference. I never liked Expose before because it was always key driven. I had to take my hands off the trackpad or the mouse. I should point out, this is the first notebook I have ever owned that I have never connected a mouse to. This has made such a big difference to me. And these are some of the reasons why. Okay, so we've got Expose where we can jump around between different windows like I was showing you. You can also, if I want to get to the desktop real quick, swipe up with four fingers and see how fast all of the windows go away. It's really effective and now I can do whatever I need to do if I need to start something on the desktop here that I couldn't see I can do anything that I need to do and instantly bring them all back with the same window active so this is uh, kind of how I've been working with expose now let's go back in the browser because I'll show you something here I've got Google Maps active as you can see and one thing that you can do easily with two fingers left and right or up and down, you see I'm, I'm actually zooming with two fingers light touch in and out on the uh, Google Maps here, which is pretty cool. 
Now if I want to move around, I just click, hold down the button, just like any mouse button or trackpad button. But the beauty is, and you can, I don't know if you can, now you can see it, it's just one finger. I'm able to do this with just one finger, as opposed to if I had a mouse, I would have my whole hand occupied. And it, it doesn't sound like much, but believe me, over time, it, 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 it really is quite a bit. Now, that's kind of Google Mail. That's just some cool stuff you can do. Uh, of course, you can always forefinger left and right, and if you need to get to your task manager, so if you want to see a, uh, or get to a program that doesn't have an active window, um, you can easily fire it up from here as well and click it. And there you go. And got iTunes going a little bit. Oh yeah, I like music. So as you can see, I'm toggling around with, the, with my one finger. And I'm finding that I can do far more than I used to be able to do with just one finger. Jump from window to window, start new, new things if I need to, new applications if I wanted to start something, something I just actually just loaded. Probably shouldn't, should fire it up since I just loaded it and just installed it at OpenOffice 3. I'm going to the cloud as you can see. But see how I can just jump in and out of stuff very, very simply. It's very, um, it's just very productive. Now I go to my little thing. So, oh, one other thing I want to show you because one of the reasons that I hate touch pads with buttons on notebooks is because I do a lot of copy and pasting. And as we know, that's a big problem on the iPhone. You can't do it right. But here it's very simple. I can just put the cursor where I want it in any window and just push the button and drag it. And as you can see, it's being selected. Double click with my fingers, get a right click menu, copy it. And then I can go into uh, text edit. Well, let's just fire up text edit. I don't have it running. If I was running, in this case, text edit or notepad equivalent, double click for right click, paste, and my text is in there. All with one or two fingers. And I'm finding it is incredibly precise doing it this way for me. It's just as precise as if I was um, using a mouse. So this has been James Kendrick from jkonlearn.com with a look at the multi-touch trackpad with the two, three, and four finger gestures that Apple has implemented on the new MacBooks and MacBook Pros, which this is the new 13-inch MacBook, which you've seen probably. So we thank you for joining in, and we'll be back really, really soon. Sorry, but see, see ya.